on WWE Raw, the arena resonated with Ric Flair's iconic music as he elegantly descended to the ring clad in a suit. Flair, addressing Mick Foley, inquired if Foley had witnessed the fate that befell his hero Terry Funk. Dismissing the past, Flair emphasized the present and asserted that it's not about age or Foley's physique, it's about embodying true manhood. That I am every day of my life. Expressing his desire for a match with Foley, interrupting the moment, the entrance was heralded by Edge's music, accompanied by Lita, the WWE champion. Edge concurred with Foley's sentiments, declaring that Flair is no longer the man, and the true man stands before them. And this man is called the Rated R Superstar! And WWE Champion, Edge asserted his dominance on the show, proclaiming himself as the MVP, shutting down any further discussion. The situation took a physical turn when Johnny Nitro ambushed Flair from behind. Despite Nitro and Edge assaulting Flair, the tide turned when John Cena rushed to the ring for the timely rescue. Faced with Cena's intervention, Edge and Nitro retreated. Melina appeared to attend to the fallen Nitro, while Cena extended a helping hand to Flair, marking a moment of solidarity. In the electrifying tag team match, the arena pulsated with anticipation as Johnny Nitro, accompanied by Melina, entered to the resonating beat following suit. The WWE Champion, Edge, made a grand entrance alongside the formidable Lita. The opening moments saw Ric Flair engaging in a fierce lockup with Nitro, who attempted a cheap shot in the corner. Swiftly evading, Flair retaliated with a series of chops, setting the tone for the match. Edge tagged in, only to meet Flair's punishing chops, leaving him reeling. Flair's momentum continued, as he dispatched Nitro from the apron, while John Cena tossed Edge over the top rope to the arena floor. The ring belonged to Flair and Cena, asserting their dominance. Upon the return to Raw, the tides had turned, with Edge and Nitro systematically wearing down Cena. Edge unleashed a relentless assault on Cena in the corner before tagging in Nitro, who continued the punishment. Flair, eager to turn the tables, entered the fray with chops, right hands, and a trademark back body drop. The momentum shifted again as Flair applied his signature figure four leg lock, only for Edge to break the hold. Chaos ensued as Cena entered, but Edge skillfully sidestepped, sending Cena tumbling to the outside. Edge seized control with a spear on Flair, prompting a cover, yet Cena intervened to save the match. Nitro executed a neckbreaker, and the duo of Melina and Lita took turns assaulting Flair on the outside. Nitro, utilizing distractions, gained the upper hand with a clothesline and a double back elbow with Edge. Flair valiantly fought back, delivering chops and reversing a middle rope dive from Edge with a well-timed chop. The turning point came when Flair tagged in Cena, who unleashed a flurry of offense. Edge and Nitro found themselves on the defensive, with Cena executing a spinning powerbomb and signaling for the five-knuckle shuffle. However, the ringside distractions from Lita and Melina escalated the chaos. Edge, wielding a chair, struck Cena from behind, but the resilient Cena turned the tables, locking Nitro in the STFU. Despite Edge's attempted interference, Nitro ultimately tapped out. The victory went to the dynamic team of John Cena and Ric Flair. As Cena and Flair celebrated, Edge and Nitro retreated with Melina and Lita setting the stage for the ongoing rivalry as Raw concluded. Backstage at Raw, Mick Foley finds himself in the company of Johnny Nitro and Melina, the latter fresh off Nitro's title defense. Foley, with a mix of respect and camaraderie, offers his congratulations to Nitro for retaining his championship. Yet, his presence there isn't solely for pleasantries, Foley has a request. It's been a noticeable six weeks since Foley graced Raw with his presence, and he's eyeing a return to the spotlight. He turns to Melina, asking her to introduce him to the audience tonight, tapping into Melina's knack for captivating the crowd. As Foley and Melina exit, leaving Nitro behind, Nitro's parting words, Hey, keep it sexy. They add a light touch to the moment. In an electric atmosphere on Monday Night Raw, Melina made a grand entrance, her presence immediately captivating the audience, accompanying her, The one and only hardcore legend, Mick Foley! None other than Mick Foley. Foley, ever the master of ceremonies, wasted no time in addressing the gathered fans, acknowledging the specialness of the occasion. He teased the crowd with the promise of delivering exactly what they craved. Mick Foley! Rick Flair! This very ring! Right there in New Jersey, Foley painted a picture of unity and shared goals, suggesting that despite their apparent differences, he and Flair shared more in common than one might assume, including a dedication to nurturing the next generation of wrestling talent. The comparison drew laughter and cheers as Foley juxtaposed his and Flair's notable friendships, Flair with the President of the United States, and Foley with adult film legend Christy Canyon. Foley didn't shy away from their controversial moments in the spotlight either, candidly discussing his own headline making antics Melina, I've been on the cover of the USA Today antics alongside Flair's publicized for that embarrassing road rage incident. The atmosphere shifted palpably as Ric Flair's iconic music filled the arena, signaling the arrival of the nature boy himself. The tension between the two legends was palpable, with Flair dismissing Foley's attempts at camaraderie. You keep your mouth shut.
and humor, cutting to the heart of their rivalry. Flair's retort was scathing, dismissing Foley's contributions and legacy in comparison to the revered names of wrestling's golden era. Because my book, The Lifetime of Greatness! He challenged Foley's hardcore credentials. Woo, yeah! demanding a match that would push both competitors to their limits. The audience, fully invested, roared in approval as Flair laid down the gauntlet, yet, as the verbal jousting took a deeply personal turn. Those guys would walk over you on the way to the bathroom, and you wouldn't open your mouth for one second. The exchange between Foley and Flair revealed the complex layers of their relationship and history within the industry. Foley's defense of Melina. I want whatever you got, pack the stash. Framing her not as a conquest but as a person deserving of respect. He's the kind of diva the nature board run around with, not you. The tension reached a boiling point as Jonathan Coachman announced a match that seemed to promise a resolution to their feud at SummerSlam, as authorized by Mr. McMahon. However, Foley's refusal to accept the match is laid out, citing his contractual freedom and unwillingness to waste his remaining battles on what he viewed as a washed-up competitor, left the audience in a state of shocked anticipation. His departure from the ring, alongside Melina, left Flair seething. In an intense showdown on Raw, Intercontinental Champion Johnny Nitro, flanked by Melina, entered the ring for a non-title match against the legendary Ric Flair, who was gearing up for his SummerSlam battle against Mick Foley. The match commenced with both competitors locking up. But Nitro quickly took the upper hand, cornering Flair and delivering a series of punishing blows. Flair, undeterred, responded with his trademark chops, momentarily gaining control until Nitro's enziguri and a neckbreaker shifted the momentum back in his favor. Nitro, relentless in his assault, applied a rear chin lock before continuing his barrage of attacks in the corner. Flair, ever resilient, fought back, landing more chops in a back elbow knockdown. However, Nitro managed to connect with a back elbow and a scoop slam, attempting to seal the deal with a corkscrew moonsault from the top rope. Flair narrowly escaped, dodging the moonsault and hitting Nitro with a chop block, potentially setting up for a comeback. The match took a chaotic turn as Mick Foley invaded the ring, Melina's low blow to Flair and Foley's ruthless assault outside the ring, including a near-disastrous moment with the ring steps, underscored the brutality of the encounter. Foley's aggression didn't stop there, as he choked Flair with his boot against the steps, inciting chants of disapproval from the fans. In the end, Foley, Nitro, and Melina retreated up the aisle, leaving Ric Flair battered and bruised at ringside. As the electric atmosphere of ECW filled the arena, the familiar strains of Mick Foley's music heralded his arrival to the ring. Foley addressed the crowd, mentioning his invitation to Ric Flair to join him on ECW, a proposal Flair seemed poised to decline. With a gleam in his eye, Foley hyped their upcoming SummerSlam bout as destined to be a landmark in WWE's violent history. Foley took a moment to dismantle Flair's assertion that Foley's career skyrocketed only after his harrowing fall from the cage. I remember being thrown! then chokeslammed through it, necessitating 14 stitches, yet emphasized his determination to complete the match, underlining his resilience and refusal to recognize the word quit. In light of Flair's absence, Foley transitioned to a lighter note by introducing Kelly Kelly to the ring as his first guest. The atmosphere shifted as he announced another guest, his close personal friend Melina, promising the audience an extreme experience. The trio engaged in a brief dance, an unexpected interlude before the scenario took a dramatic turn with Ric Flair's music cutting through the ambience. The tension was palpable as Flair made his explosive entrance, immediately engaging Foley in a ferocious brawl within the squared circle. Flair, seizing the moment, delivered a devastating low blow, propelling Foley out of the ring. The intensity escalated as Flair hurled Foley into the steel steps, then savagely whipped and choked him with his belt, drawing blood. Amidst the chaos, Flair seized the microphone, staring fiercely at the battered Foley, vowing that Sunday would see Foley utter the word quit. It's my ass, kid. Before their intense match, Mick Worthless piece of crap. In an intense and brutal encounter between Mick Foley and Ric Flair, the match escalated quickly with Foley using a microphone as a weapon against Flair, followed by introducing a bag of thumbtacks into the fray. He then continued his assault on Flair, culminating in a vicious slam that left Flair covered in thumbtacks. Despite the pain, Foley proceeded to escalate the violence by retrieving a baseball bat wrapped in barbed wire from under the ring. Using the bat, he mercilessly raked it across Flair's face, However, Flair managed to fight back with a desperate low blow, turning the tide momentarily. He launched Foley into the ring post and used the barbed wire bat against Foley, attacking his arm and head with brutal strikes. Flair's relentless offense included right hands and biting Foley's forehead, all while questioning Foley's will to continue. Despite another low blow and being rammed off the apron onto a trash can outside the ring with the barbed wire bat, Foley's resilience was on full display as he refused to quit. Melina entered the ring, concerned for Foley's well-being. 
Despite her presence, Flair was unyielding, continuing his attack with the barbed wire bat, even threatening Melina and his frenzy. He does not quit for him! In a moment of desperation to protect Melina from harm, Foley uttered the words I quit, sacrificing his chance at victory to ensure her safety. Highlighting the dramatic and emotional depth of this brutal confrontation, backstage Mick Foley found himself in a contemplative state when Melina approached him, her gratitude for his actions the previous day palpable in her tone. Foley admitted his own surprise at Ric Flair's unpredictable demeanor and the intense situation it had led to. Melina's concern was evident as she inquired about Mick's next move. The looming possibility of Mick joining the infamous Kiss My Ass Club weighed heavily on the conversation. Foley expressed his dilemma. He couldn't fathom compromising his dignity or betraying his own principles. Melina, understanding the gravity of Mick's predicament, offered her unwavering support. She acknowledged him not just as a friend but as her mentor. Her respect and loyalty to Mick were clear as she affirmed that whatever decision he made, she would stand by him. Before departing for Johnny Nitro's match, she kissed Mick, leaving him with a sense of reassurance. We return to find Vince and his son Shane in the ring. Mick Foley, accompanied by Melina, makes his way to the ring. Mick, my ass is over here. Insinuating his participation in the Kiss My Ass Club. A date with you to kiss my ass. Mick, however, stands firm, declaring he won't comply. He expresses his love for WWE and his job but insists he isn't desperate. I do not mean it! Vince interrupts to clarify that he hadn't threatened to fire Mick. Instead, he presents a chilling ultimatum. I'm not gonna fire you if you don't kiss my ass. I'm gonna fire Melina. If Mick refuses to kiss his ass, Melina will be fired. Torn, Mick confesses that no one is worth such a demeaning act. Vince, seizing control, prepares for the act, with Shane assisting him. Melina, distressed, urges Mick not to proceed. Mick, in a poignant confession, admits his willingness to endure this low for her potential stardom and their friendship, planning to drown the humiliation with mouthwash and alcohol afterward. As Vince bears himself, Mick condemns him before reluctantly fulfilling the deed. Melina's embrace of Mick post-act suggests solidarity, but it's quickly shattered by her betrayal. A devastating low blow to Mick is followed by her alignment with Vince and Shane. The cold declaration of you're fired! Adds insult to injury as Vince and his cohorts depart, leaving Mick in shock and pain. Vince, unapologetically reveling in the moment, hints at his bizarre history with such acts. I'm gonna have myself another Ashel! And Johnny to enjoy their evening. At a heated press conference, Johnny Nitro and Melina address the controversial decision to fire Mick Foley. Opening the press conference, Johnny Nitro justified their actions by emphasizing his status as the Intercontinental Champion and his relationship with Melina. I'm the Intercontinental Champion! I'm everything! Nitro flaunted his lifestyle and achievements, criticizing Foley for not being able to match his charisma or success. I go home! I get freaky with Melina! He taunted Foley by claiming that his fantasies about a life like Nitro's were as close as he would ever get, declaring Melina was out of Foley's league and calling him a quitter. Melina took the microphone with a fiery speech. I'm not a, a quitter. He's more like an ass kisser. Attacking Foley's character and accusing him of being sycophantic towards authority figures and fans alike. She disparaged Foley's infatuation with her as pathetic and embarrassing. Disgusting creep who is hitting middle age and he fell for me. That's not my fault. Highlighting the absurdity of his supposed schoolboy crush, Melina ridiculed the mundane aspects of Foley's life, like driving a minivan, to emphasize the gap between their glamorous lifestyle and his. She sternly placed herself and Nitro on a pedestal far above Foley, both personally and professionally. I would never associate myself with regular people like you! Nitro concluded the press conference with a scornful farewell to Foley's career, suggesting he stick to writing blogs while Nitro ascends to new heights in the industry. He proudly stated that both he and Melina are the pinnacle of excitement on Raw and boldly claimed the title of the future of sports entertainment. Enjoy your, your what, your 19th retirement!